What's up, guys? I'm Sam. I'm Jack. And we are bringing you grateful by elevation worship in the key of A major. Check it out. I'm grateful for y'all. All right, so for electric guitar one, we are covering the lead stuff. And so I'm going to start you from the very top on the intro. And so what we're going to play is we're going to play octaves, and it's a four note line. And so I'm going to break it down for you. The first note we're going to play is an E octave. So on the B string, I'm on the uh, 17th fret, and my index is on the 14th fret of the D string. So it sounds like this. I'm going to slide that down three half steps. So I'm sitting on a C sharp, same octaves, and then I'm going to slide it down a whole step down to B. And then later on, we're going to end up using an A. So I'm going to go down another whole step. So in time, we're going to start on the and of four. It's a pickup, um, but I'm going to play it in time with all my effects on. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So for electric two on the intro, um, we're playing higher up chord inversions, and this is what those look like. In time. Two, three. So up next after the intro is the verse, and both verses are the same for us. We play a single note line that comes in halfway through the verse, and so here's where that part is broken down for you. We're gonna start on the 17th fret on the B string, to the 19th fret on the same string, go to the E string, 17th fret, 19th fret. So those are our four notes, and so here's how they sound in context with time. So one, two, three, four. So on the chorus, um, Electric 2 is creating a synth sound, um, and to do that I'm turning on all my drives, acting as like a fuzz, um, and even adding on a chorus. Um, and keep in mind we are tuning our low E string down to a low D. Um, and so this is what that line sounds like. Starts on an open A. Then to the second fret on the A string for B. Slide that up two frets. And then we're gonna go down to the fourth fret on the low E string, which is acting as an F sharp. Then we're gonna go down two frets to an E. And then we're gonna hit an open D. In time, this is what that sounds like. One, two, three, four. So up next is the chorus, and the chorus is the same for us every single time. We're playing a two-note pattern um, that alternates between an A and an E, an A, a C sharp, and an A and a D. And so we're going to be playing here on the seventh and fifth fret. So that's our first note. That's an A. We have an E on the fifth fret on the B string. Then we're going to go to an A and a C sharp, which is on the G string on the sixth fret. Then A and D, which is seventh fret on the G string as well. And so the pattern that we're going to play this is this. So in time, I'm going to put them all together for you. So chorus, two, three, four.
So for the interlude coming out of chorus one, Electric 2 is still doing the same type of single note line with the same effects. Um, and we're starting on the fourth fret on the A string, so a C sharp. Going up a half step to a D. To an open A. Then we're going fourth fret, low E string, acting as an F sharp. Down two frets then hitting that open D. In time, this is what that sounds like. One, two, three, four. So up next for us is the bridge. And on the bridge, we play, again, it's a single note line that moves, but it stays the same the entire time. We just build dynamically. And so I'm going to break down that for you now. And it comes in on the downbeat. And so we're going to be up here on the uh, 12, 15th, 17th fret on an E note. We're going to go down to the 15th fret, to the 14th fret. Then go move down to our G string on the 16th fret then the 14th fret, and that's all of our notes. So the pattern goes like this really slow. So in time, this is what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. to repeat go so for the bridge um, electric 2 is doing the same type of single note line um, we're starting on the f sharp on uh, the fourth fret of the low e and then we're going down two frets then we're going 4th fret A string on the C sharp. Then we're hitting that low D. In time, this is what that sounds like. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's all the parts that you need to know to play Grateful Electric Guitar 1. The only thing different for the remainder of the song is the last chorus and the outro, I add an extra drive to push it some more and cut through the mix. And that's it. That's all that you need to know. So coming out of the bridge, we have a down chorus, and then it ramps back up. All your parts are the exact same for Electric 2. And then even on the outro, you keep playing the same chorus line. 